Okay, we're gonna tornado potato. We have peeled our potato uh, all the way down. And what we want to do is cut it into half. Some people can tourne a potato in quarters or smaller, but I want you to start off with halves so you have a larger piece to start with. Uh, otherwise, you get left with nothing. This is an exercise in your hand motion and just getting comfortable with the paring knife coming towards your body. Um, we'll get into the shape and, and accuracy of it later, but for today, everybody just needs to get the grip and the motion going with this. Uh, you can use your bird's beak or your tourney knife or a paring knife. I prefer to use a paring knife because it has a wider surface for me to use. This can be too cramped for somebody with large hands sometimes. So just feel, go with what's comfortable. The sharper your knife, definitely the better off for this exercise. So to start, I'm going to cut it in half. Okay this one half. So now I can make two tournées. So everybody, if you have one potato, you should get at least two out. Uh, if you're really good, you can get four. If you're even better than that, you can get six. So it just depends on what you're doing. Okay. It's very hard to describe. It's a very ebb and flow kind of thing. Uh, remember, you need seven equal sides, and it has to be a football shape, uh, and just even all the way around. Biggest thing is people don't get the number of sides and they get frustrated very easily. Half or more than half of you will get frustrated and just feel like you can't do it. Uh, patience is the key here. This is an eight hour class, so you have eight hours to get a target out of So don't give up and just let it work. So the way I do this, there's a hundred different ways. If you find one that works better for you, hold the knife across your palm, across the top of your palm. Okay, and your thumb is your guide, and this is your other, your other guide hand. You want them to work together, so as I turn with this, I'm also turning with the potato hand to get a curve on it. Sometimes people just have a straight line because they're not turning with this hand. This will help get them to go around this to it. Okay. So the first cut I do is usually, just like the song, the first cut is the deepest, right? Yes. Sorry. Okay. So, big large cut like that, and now from here I'm progressing my sides. This point will now become a side. Cutting across that, turning with this hand. Now I have another side. Okay, here's another point. Turning another side. Okay, here. other side. So let's stop. Let's see where I have. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? So how do I add sides? I see there's a pretty sharp point here. So if I come across this, like that, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So where can I add another one? Let me make this one a little more even. You can add one, which one's sticking out the most? Maybe here. Let's try this. Okay. So now, what I, once I have my seven sides established, it's not very even. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the part where patience comes in. You want to shave as little off as possible and just keep going around until it gets into a nice football shape. Uh, once you've made your major cuts, you really shouldn't be shaving anything more than that off of there because you want to be able to go around and get it nice and smooth. So uh, I'm going to do that now. And turning with this hand, coming around. Some people like to flip it over halfway so it's even on both sides, which I should, might want to do. This side is pretty broad, so I'm going to not take too much off there, but you can see here, it kind of comes to a point, you want that side to be flat. So as I come across, I take very little off at the top, if any, and then I go deeper to make it flat on the bottom. Okay. Uh, if you feel like it's getting too bulbous or too round, just 
try not to turn your hand as much. that's uneven, it's sticking out here, I can go a deeper cut right here. Okay. Students will get nervous with this cutting hand because they feel like they might stab themselves. Just holding your knife like this, because you're putting so much pressure on there, um, you're going to stop yourself because your hands are tense. So the tenseness in your hands will prevent you from slipping down and cutting your wrist. If you're not paying attention and you're loose and you're doing all that, that's when you cut yourself. But if you're focused and your hand is tight, I, can, I can't really jerk it back too far. Okay? So you have to get comfortable with that. Okay, it's getting there. Uh, you can take this end off here like that if you want. Seven equal sides, seven flat sides. That's what I want. A lot of students will have a, a jerky motion in their potato and you'll see these jagged edges. It's because they're stopping. Once you start, you just need to go with it. If you stop, then you have these bumps and grooves on the sides. So, uh, I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been about five or six minutes, maybe. And that's pretty uniform all the way around. Let me check my sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I can keep going around. Those of you that are meticulous can make it perfect. And those of you that have messy rooms at your house will say this is good enough. Uh, I'm just going to go around and try to get it smooth on all sides so that it's more presentable. Okay. Everybody's tornadoes are going to come out different. What you want is just the consistency in yours. So if you have four or five of yours, they all look similar. Right. We'll stop there. Okay. So that's one tornado. Out of half a potato, if you wanted to do a quarter, you would start here and then go around doing it that way. But you notice you have a lot less to start with. So start with half and then wind over your, your way down and see how much scrap you have just from one potato or half a potato. And that is your tournée. Good. How long was that?